Hey everyone, Don and Ash here. Hello. Back for another reaction video. This time we're going to be continuing on with our Falcon Shield series. Uh, so this is number six. Uh, this is we're visiting Sharima. Yes. Yeah, finally. <laughs> I'm so finally. stoked. Yes. Um, I can't wait. Like Sharima is one of our, I would say, like it's pretty up there for the zones that we yes. absolutely love. Yeah. And uh, I can't wait to see Nasus. Um, yeah. There's such yeah, there's such cool characters like. All of them. Like, honestly, they're all so cool from this region. I think that's yeah. why we love it so much. And we're both, like, even in real life, like, all the Egyptian associations, stuff yes, like that. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we're big, you know, Egypt fans. So, yeah, this this zone is just wicked. And I can't wait to hear all the voices they do for Exnasis, like, like Renekton. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, Severe, yeah. I, like, ugh, I love this area. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, there's the, there's Severe and the Medusa one as well. I forget her name. Uh, I forget. Cassiopeia. Her. Yes, there it is. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. I'm so excited. Yeah, this is gonna be so good. All right, let's hop in. <laughs> Wait, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe Talia. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, she is from that area. Let's get it! A little closer, there's no need for you to play. Go away, cast your beers, hit a slither in like now, boy. Not seeing villain has come to spit out the venom. I'm gonna do down to a liquid and send you to out to heaven. <laughs> the big boss, the cold rock commander. Coiling the world, behold, your man gander. You see stuff in the beast, then let that come. The queen naga, oh mid lane, now she's running. And with the hit, there's a way for you to go. Came okay, everything in your heart, now you look like Ali Yo! Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> cool. Hey. Yeah, that was dope. Um, no sever. Uh, severe. Yeah, yeah. Severe, yeah. Yeah. Um, That's okay. <laughs> no, that was sick. I mean, Cassiopeia. I love her voice. It was also pretty sassy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, her part was sick. Absolutely sick. Like, I don't even know. That was so good. Like, Sarah. Okay, so we had. Um, Anti Rivet, Bad Administrator. I want to see who did. Um, uh, we had. Oh, there. Okay, so let's. I just want to shout out some of the, the people here. Hopefully, I don't miss anybody. Okay, let's maybe go through. Uh, Rex Sai was really good. Nikki Taylor uh, doing that voice. Talia uh, by Ryby Jenkins. R uh, hopefully, I'm saying that right. Um, Nasus by. Um, I think all three of those written by Anti Rivet. Yeah, Nasus by. Uh, performed by Stephanos Rex. Um, Renekton, uh, written and performed by Joseph Falcon Skold, and like Yosef, um, uh, Cassiopeia, Anti Rivet. I'm like, I'm like her name. I'm like, what's her name again? How was her name? It's right there. Uh, performed by Jupus, Jupus, <laughs> and um, yeah, no, I guess that's who did it. I'm like, oh man, they did such a good job at their inflection of Cassiopeia, not just like the delivery, but like. Like, 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 rapping the words themselves, but like, really, can we just go back to her part for a second? Because she, she like, oh man, she set the bar so high right off the right bat. Off the bat yeah. Like, I wasn't expecting those lines to be so fire. Like, I, I don't even know. Like that, that performer really got into character. Like, I just can't even explain. So I'm just gonna let them explain themselves here. Uh, yeah, like what, like she gets so into her out the bat. Yeah, like, I love it. Yeah, no, she just she just you know from like from like the the fire deliver right off the bat to like going so like I would say like like the vibe for me is like feeling so like liquid. She went so liquid with it, and um, just yeah. all throughout her part, like even the next next you know verse coming up there, the next the next couple of bars. Yes. I love it. I, I just love the attitude. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, it 
was so good. It has like a little bit of like mocking to it, yeah. right? Just like <laughs> a little bit, a lot of it. Yeah, it was, it's, it's... it was so good. I'm like, I wasn't, I honestly wasn't expecting Cassiopeia's part, um, Cassiopeia's part. Um, I, you know, it, it, it doesn't even matter like what hero it was. Just the the actual person delivered it so yeah. so well. Uh, um, yeah. Hopefully, I'm saying the name right, Upis or or Jupis. Um. Wow. <laughs> like, it, it just it, it kind of like took me as like I thought. You know, I, I, I guess I kind of went to it beforehand. Like, I picked my favorite uh, champion. I'm like, that's the one that I'm looking forward to. It's going to be the best. I'm like, man, Cassio- then- yeah, Cassiopeia <laughs> might, for me, might might take the crown on this one. Yeah. Like, that was so sick. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, I'm invested in it. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cool. Um, All right. Let's let's just, uh, you know, go past her part a little bit. Um, Yeah. Her attitude was so good. I can't even explain. I think it's suits her so perfectly too so good yeah um renekton came up next and his part was so good i love the voice i'm just gonna i was it, just gonna say just yeah. let it play for a couple seconds here and i also loved i also loved the beat change what, yes. yeah oh that yeah. first beat change when i started bringing those heavy guitar chords i was like i was like because I, I like metal like i'm a you know metal head i'm like, like oh yes, yeah i'm like yes. let's go <laughs> right I think it's coming up right here. Yeah, like that yeah. off that off beat, like the off drum beat, so good. I honestly feel like a, a lot of what has to do with the the perfection of these episodes going forward is is the musical production. I feel like went way up. It's not like, and and it's not like to say it wasn't good in the in the first couple of episodes. It's just like I feel like they really knew when to insert breaks, when to when to um, you know, bring it from like, like, like in this, it was like banger right off the bat, banger into Renekton part, bring it back with a little, with a little, with a little, you know, off, off groove type thing. And then, and then go back in. Oh, it's just so good. Like I, yeah. the production in, in, in the last handful have been just off the charts. Yeah, I agree. Um, Renekton and like Nasus, the kind of like Nasus's lines in spite or or like like um, the, back the trash talk, yeah. Bit, yeah. That was that was pretty cool. Yeah. So, yeah. No, I really like this part. Uh, I love that when he said, oh, "Where are thou?" Yeah, 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 yeah. That line was so good. Um, uh, Nasus came up next, and Nasus's part was, you know what? Um, I felt like his like there's. Some lines that I felt like maybe I'm not sure if it was they they, they were trying to stick too much on the beat, um, but Nasus had a little bit of that where he kind of he went off the beat and there's not really anything wrong with that. I just feel like the first two really like were like st- on it stuck. Yeah, they were stuck oh, on it. And it's not like Nasus was bad at all. Nasus was sick. Again, I love the voice. I was just like. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like the voice it's actors. It's so good. Yeah, shout out to all of you voice actors. All of you d- uh, did such an incredible job. And honestly, if it was like Falcon Shield, I mean, oh my god, can we just okay? Let's take a minute to say somehow um, we have attracted the attention of Falcon Shield yeah. himself <laughs> um, on our videos. So um, yeah, uh, that's awesome. Um, I just want to say like <laughs> it, it must have been hard like if Falcon Shield himself had to. Um, I guess listen to like maybe potentially hundreds of voice actors or, or who knows like how how this how, how the process yeah. to to pick these people was right but I imagine it wasn't easy and um ultimately uh everybody from the decisions made to to the final team yeah to the to the to the performers and and these final tracks that they did amazing um and I don't know in the credits I I don't think we've ever looked if we've gone to look like I don't know if, if Falcon Shield himself makes the song. I'm like, oh. if he watches this, maybe he can confirm for us. Uh, but I, I will, I'll try to remember to check at the end of, of this reaction here because, like, wow, right? Yeah. Like honestly. Yeah, and I and I still... and, and, and the and the graphics. Sorry. Yeah, and the graphics. I was gonna say there's obviously so much that goes into these things, um, or these videos. Sorry. Yeah. Um, and it's it's always just so astounding to see the final product and yeah. like us being artists and Don does a lot of video production and and I kind of help out a bit. Um, we know how much work goes into this stuff, right? Um, just incredible, honestly. Um, I think one of the things that always surprises you me. You help out with my video production? 
No, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> no, kidding. Sometimes. Like, anyway. Um, I think one of the things that I always love that surprises me, too, is it's cool to know that, like, the parts are written by someone different than who's actually singing them or saying them. Not always. Not always, no. Not always, but um, those instances, instances that they are is just pretty cool uh it's it's absolutely you know they bring a lot of personality to however the lines are finalized and stuff like that uh whether they wrote them themselves or whether they like a vocalist came in and and, like helped the original writer just kind of put their own personality on it type thing um they're all sick like i have no idea how they even one of the things that they they've done i think more fluidly um it's not about picking like less less cheesy like um um or or corny like uh um pop culture references or whatever but they've done a really good job at like in the, in the past couple uh episodes fitting them in in a way that's just almost like way more seamless or it's like half, like i would say maybe even half the time it's like you don't even notice until a couple seconds later that they even said a pop culture reference and then your brain's like oh wait a second i know that right um there were a lot that were just really done really well i think like one of the one of the lines that I think it's at the end of NASA's part when he said, um, just let sleeping dogs lie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I just I'm like, I think that's uh I'm not sure I'm like a video game or a movie. I think it's a movie. Yeah, I'm like, I think you're right. I'm just like I thought that line was like the way they did it was just like so you know, uh, yeah. um it gives me such a I because I remember like I pointed out and Falcon Share pointed out too, I'm like, he caught that serial line. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, they do, they do such a good job. Yeah, I feel like, like, and that one specifically, I think was a great way to, like, kind of wrap up Nasus's part. 100%. 100%. And then we went into Talia. Um, Yeah. I almost didn't expect to see Talia. Like, I know you said it at the beginning, but I didn't really expect to see her. I was, I I thought that she was going to be, like, maybe a a thing, like, severe, where it was going to be, like, maybe, maybe not. Um, because they're kind of, I feel like anytime... Uh, conversations come up about Sharima. They don't really get talked about too much. That's, yeah, that's fair. Um, but like being like being outshadowed by again like the first couple like Renaton and yeah. uh, uh, Azir and um, uh, Nasus and um, uh, forget uh, oh uh, Rexai is obviously another big personality. Yes. And the Rexai part was sick, but we'll get to that. Yeah. So just quickly, Talia's voice was sick. I think Talia's voice just being like a the younger. Like, she's probably the youngest of all these yeah. ones on screen. Yeah. And almost like the voice is like, like teenagery, but almost like a, a little, but... a little bit like not um adolescent. Yeah, I guess adolescent is the right word to say it because it almost got a little bit of like angstiness, like yeah. teen angst here, right? Just, just yeah. a tad. And I thought that uh, that was perfect. That was perfect. Yeah, um, I think it definitely suits her. Yeah, such a good job. Uh, oh, uh, I'm like. Who I thought it was um Zareth. I always forget about Zareth too, is basically just as big as a personality as Azir. But for some reason, I always forget about him. Yeah. I don't know why. He's basically like just like the bad guy essentially, yeah. right? Like, yeah. yeah, or like when we saw uh, him, I was this, like, I know who you are. Yeah. But like my brain was like, gears are turning, I'm like, what's your name? But yeah, eventually I remember who he is and why he's important and is a big deal for this area for sure. <laughs> yes, yeah, it clicked after a second. Um, we had a, a um, Rex size part here, which is absolutely awesome. Yeah, I love yeah. the little. Of, I love the little bit of like. It sounds like they've just added like a, a little bit of like I don't know if it's like chorus or something on the on the on the voice actor's voice. Whatever it is, I'm like the final sound that they ended up on yeah. here is, is is really good. Yeah. And um again, this this uh performer came with the attitude, they came with the delivery. Yes. They just they just they stomped it out. Yeah, I was like when this one came on, I was like Sorry, sorry. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. yeah, yeah, this yeah. One, I'm like you can get super into this one too. Like again, it was just done so well. Uh, the way the words were like um said like on every little beat and I almost had like a sharper ending to each word. It just made them like so like <laughs> yeah, no, it was, it was super good. Zareth was, I think Zareth was one of the ones where I felt most like, I think it was maybe towards the end of Zareth's part. I'm pause there for a sec. I think it was towards the end of Zareth's part where I just felt like, uh, 
some of the lines were a little bit too long for the, the space they were trying to fit in. I think it was Zareth because after him is Azir. Mm -hmm. And Azir kind of, I felt, was a good... Azir's the end, right? Yeah, he's yeah. the end. He has, I think he has the longest part, too, actually, because he's got the little chorus bit. Yeah. Right when the, when the uh, you know, they were <laughs> singing in between him rapping. Um, yeah. I, so I think that if I had to pick a, a favorite and a least favorite part, even though I don't want to, like, I'm not trying to make fun of everybody, but if I, if I had to be honest, I think Zareth is my least favorite part. Um, and Cassiopeia, surprisingly. Like, Cassiopeia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cassiopeia, surprisingly, yeah. Is, is my favorite from this one. Um, Azir's was sick, though. Yeah. Like, I, it, it's so hard. I don't want to, like, it's not about, like, this one's good, this one's bad. Not, not, not at all, right? Yeah. It's just that, like, Cassiopeia blew me away. And um, uh, Zareth was still good. I just, maybe I didn't resonate with that one as much. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, and Azir, to, to wrap it up, just going to Azir's bit, I really liked his bit. Um, I thought that 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 little chorus edition, like we just like we just mentioned, yes, that, was just really good. It was, was really say, nice. That was that was. Uh, I'm gonna. I'll try to find it, let it play here. But I felt like it was a just nice, a, like a nice. It's a nice little change up. It like it like elevated the song it, at the end, yeah, right? Yeah. Um. All right. So that part would be, I think, about here potentially. Yeah. I, yeah. I think that's the start of it. <laughs> Son has spoken. And then his little like mini, mini monologue at the end. His little, his just little speech. I'm just like, when this was playing the first time, yeah, and like will fall only to rise. I, I thought that like people, especially like uh, league players, when you're playing the games, they're totally listening to these songs when they play like like uh, champions from uh, specific regions. Yeah. I'm like, I feel bad if any regions got left out. I'm like, there's people like, why would you sing about my champion? <laughs> no, these were, this This was dope. 100%. Yeah. This was dope. Pleasantly, it, pleasantly happy with this one. Yeah, there is <laughs> two more. And actually, uh, looking at the playlist, one of the end ones is going back to Noxus in uh, Damasia, which is interesting. I didn't see, we haven't gone to... Speak, you know, I'm like speaking about regions that may not have their heroes sang about. I'm like, there's no Bilgewater yet. I don't, yeah. I'm like, I don't. That's true. Yeah, I'm like, there's no Bilgewater in the list. Anyways, <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. Falcon Shield's like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, um, let us know what you thought about this one, what your favorite moments were, who your favorite performers were, and what your favorite lines were from this one. Um, because we loved it, absolutely loved it. Yes. Um. And as always, if you're liking our little uh, journey through the Falcon Shield series, um, there's only two more. So we're wrapping up soon. Be sure to join us for the last couple. Uh, and and um, like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye. bye.